Hi everyone, welcome back. Well, we're on our way out to Meriden this morning and um, we're following this pipeline. You know, this is the Goldfields water pipeline that was, I think, finished in 1903 uh, to pump water from Mundaring Weir in the Perth Hills to the eastern goldfields in Western Australia. So that's Coolgardie initially. Um, and before the pipeline was finished, gold was discovered at Kalgoorlie, so they extended it out there. I think that's about 560 kilometres to pump water. And it was a massive undertaking at the time. I just thought I would come down and show you this pipe. This is a steel pipe, and this is original pipe that was put into the pipeline in 1903. Sorry about the traffic noise, there's not a lot I can do about that. Um, originally there was just one pipeline, a single pipe, um, but down around Mundaring Weir and some sections of the pipe they've put in a much bigger pipe for a larger volume. They've pulled out the old pipe and they've reused it where they've put dual lines in. So what's interesting about this pipe, this was made in England and shipped out here on sailing ships. Now up until this point a piece of pipe was a single piece of steel that was rolled into a circle and then had a riveted joint down it. To ship it out from England you were paying for the total volume of the pipe in freight which made it really really expensive because you were paying to ship the air in the middle of the pipe. This pipe was revolutionary. This is called locking bar pipe. And if you look down here, there's a seam that runs down this side. And if we look over the other side, there's another seam here. This meant that the pipe was actually shipped in two halves and that they could stack them much better then. Um, this reduced the cost of shipping um, and then they used these locking bars to lock the two halves of the pipe together. Now this is a crimped on uh, bar and I think there's a lead seal in here as well. Um, so that, the first thing is that reduced the cost of shipping. Having a row of rivets down your pipe meant two things. Water with a bit of dirt in it is slightly abrasive and the inside of the rivets will wear off and you will get holes in your pipe. But also having lumps on the inside of your pipe uh, very much increases the resistance of your pipe. Now when you're using steam pump stations to try and pump water further than anybody ever has before, you need to reduce the resistance of your pipe as much as possible to make the task possible. So by getting rid of the rivets, it meant that the water flowed through the pipe much more easily. Um, the locking bars are more streamlined, they just, they just follow down the side of the pipe. Um, and so this pipeline was one of the most efficient pipelines in the world at the time. Now this is all 100 year old pipe and it's been moved and rejoined and patched over there you can see patches on that piece on the other side of the road there, uh, on the other side of the uh, pipe there. Um, this has also now all been concrete lined. Now this pipeline is still in use. Kalgoorlie and Coolgardie are still quite big mining towns uh, and they're in a very dry part of Western Australia. So 120 years later, this is still the only way to get water out to Kalgoorlie or to all of that population. But the population of Kalgoorlie has decreased a lot over that time. Uh, so this pipeline now supplies water through a large part of the wheat belt, about two thirds of the way down to Esperance and almost north to Geraldton. So this pipeline is supplying a wa water to a vast area of the southwest of Western Australia. Anyway, I hope you found this little video interesting. Thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye!